So what are the good omega-3s to eat? What are the ones that are actually more dangerous than omega-6? So we need some omega-3 in, um, in our bodies. We don't need all that much. When our, our bodies are healthy, um, we need both omega-3 and omega-6, I should say. Make that clear. We do indeed. Yeah, because these are what we call essential fatty acids, and our body uses them for all sorts of things. But when our metabolism is healthy, we really don't need all that much. Uh, historically, uh, most we think most people got some less than five percent of in terms of calories from from either omega three or omega six. Uh, but you know we don't know very much about that, and it doesn't you know so that's just a hypothetical. It could be a lot more than that. But here's the thing, and we're talking about something that I want to make an analogy to kind of help help clarify this. Okay. So. What we're talking about right now in terms of like the, the the elongation and that being a problem, we're talking about like trimming the sails on a on a boat. Imagine you have a sailboat and you want to make it go as fast as possible. This is what they do in the America's Cup, right? Uh, and they they have all these folks that are out there and they're talking about the depth of the hole and exactly like what type of ropes uh, they make the the, uh, the uphaul like uh, ties out of and and all these little things. But no one's talking about the fact that, oh, gosh, you know, this boat has a gaping two foot hole in the <laughs> hole and it's taking on water at, you know, gallons per second here. That's where we are with vegetable oil, because we have to pay attention to the fact that everyone we've been studying is living on more vegetable oil than is healthy. I should say, for the past probably 50, 60, 70 years, all of the science that we have, all of these studies that we have where we believe that these elongation ratios are 1 to 45, maybe it's true, maybe it's not true, because we were studying an unhealthy population, right? Or we don't know if we were studying an unhealthy population because medical science never took the time to define what health is and to focus on oxidative stress and how to measure it in the human body and how to identify people who are who have that healthy metabolism and therefore are able to they should be the subjects of these basic science studies right so we can't really answer some very important questions because we've not really studied it 